Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I'm the Water Filter East Store and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to set up and clean one of these Mazian Bypass uh, air injectors. Basically how they work is water flows in from the well through here, and uh, as it flows through, air gets sucked in through this black part here, which is actually called the Mazzy. There's also a bypass around that Mazzy, and the more we close down this valve here, the more it restricts the flow through here and forces more flow through here, which sucks in the air. So I've put the uh, air berm into backwash so that uh, it starts drawing water, so it will turn the pump on very shortly. So the pump has just clicked on, and uh, you can hear if I put my finger over here, there's a sucking sound, and that's because the air is being sucked in through that Mazzy. So if I back off on this red handle here, in other words, open up the bypass, you can probably hear that there's no sucking sound and there's no popping when I put my finger on it. So if I bring it back here, again, you can hear, hear that sucking sound. So it should be sucking air through the Mazzy for about half of the pumping cycle. Um, if you have a lot of iron and a lot of sulfur in your water, then you'd want to suck air for more than half of the cycle. Um, but if you're getting sputtering at the faucets, that means too much air is being sucked in. So you want to back off a little bit by opening up this bypass. Um, the other thing you have to be careful of too is because you're restricting the flow coming in here, um, the more you close off this bypass, the more air that's being drawn in, uh, the slower the flow is going to be to all your household uh, fixtures, your showers, uh, kitchen faucet, etc. Eventually, because there's iron, and iron being dealt with here, this Mazzy is going to become clogged and then it won't draw air no matter how you position this handle. And when that happens, it needs to be cleaned out. I have a Mazian bypass that's been removed here. Now the first section of this cleaning of the Mazzy, you don't actually have to remove this or the Mazzy from the system, but the second half uh, you may need to do that. So um, if you did, you would unscrew this part here, and once you've unscrewed that, then you can wind off this whole end off the Mazzy, and then you can um, unwind the Mazzy from this section here. But like I say, the first section, uh, the first uh, part of cleaning the Mazzy, you don't actually have to remove it. So, all right, so I have a separate Mazzy right here so we can have a look at this one. And uh, so, the f so the first stage before you start anything is you need to shut off the pump. You need to shut off any valves that are after the system so the water from the, the whole house doesn't drain back. And you're gonna need to drain the pressure tank. So once you've done all that, then um, you can uh, clean out the Mazzy. Now I always put a cloth underneath because uh, especially if you're working in, with the, the Mazzy in place, you don't want any of the small parts that are inside here to, to fall onto the floor and roll away somewhere in the dark and never to be found again. So the first thing you're gonna do is unscrew the nozzle that's on here. Normally this is, these are just hand tight, but uh, if you need to use some pliers, that's fine. And then inside here, you'll see a seal with a small ball inside. So just using a small flat bladed screwdriver, you just want to pry out that seal like that and there's that ball I was talking about. Now normally this ball will be quite dirty especially if, if the Mazzy isn't drawing any air at all at this point. So, um, so these two parts will go into CLR and you'll see there's a small spring inside here. So again, be very careful you don't lose that spring. So all three of those components can go in CLR or a similar type cleaner because um, you want to clean these up like new. And uh, you'll use a toothbrush after they've been soaked for a while to clean them right up. Now using a, a wooden toothpick that's pointy on both ends, you need, there's a small hole in the bottom here you want to clean that out with the toothpick. Now you don't want to use anything metal or a drill or something like that because that hole, the size of that hole in there is critical and you don't want to enlarge that. While I've got the mask in my hands, I should mention too that there is a flow arrow on here, so make sure that when you're putting it back together that it, uh, it follows that flow. Then I would reassemble the um, components, putting the spring in first, the ball, and the seal once it's all been cleaned up. Close that back up again, put it into service, and now it should draw air. If it doesn't, it may be that the passageway inside here is clogged. And uh, to do that, you would have to totally remove the Mazzy from the, the bypass and from the system. And then you'd soak this in CLR. And I don't know if you can see it with the camera or not, but you should be able to see daylight through the bottom of that because there's a small hole there. And uh, once you've soaked it in CLR, you can pass a wire through. Again, you don't want to enlarge that hole, but you need to clean that out. So you definitely need to see daylight through there. And then again, clean the hole from this direction. Um, 
so that the venturi is perfectly clean. Reassemble it and then follow the setup directions and you're back in business and the mask you'll be drawing here. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified about all the new videos they become available on our channel. If you'd like some more information, you can go to our website, either www.thewaterstoremidland.com or www.thewaterfilterestore.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.